everyone, it's time to dig into the depths of the archives once again in another edition of Reactivated. On the screen in front of you we will start with a bot bit. If you can identify which house robot is on the screen now and give us your answers in the comments below, the answers will be revealed a little bit later on. So as you ponder that Bot bits. We'll move on to our fantasy fight, the fourth and final fight of round one. Of course, we've had uh, Razor through, Exterminated from series seven, and Tough as Nails from series eight. And here is the pencil case. So we now can open it and reveal our last two. Totally at random, totally at random from all ten series. Our first robot is. Oh. Okay, so. Ah, oops. Chaos 2. Chaos 2 from series 3 through to 6. Of course, winning the title twice. And. Mixing around. Oh! I don't believe it. Genuinely. Cassius 2 from series 3. Okay. I'll take that one. Well, it, it's quite funny actually because this is a fight that never actually happened in the series. We were always wanting a fight between Chaos 2 and Cassius 2. Well, any rendition of Cassius really, but Cassius 2 in Series 3 for me I think was a better design than uh, Series 2. But for this fantasy fight, Chaos 2 and Cassius 2, I, like I said, I would have loved to have seen this. Um, right, I think if you saw, I'm going based on, because obviously we only saw Cassius 2 fight, 2 fights. Um, yes, it was, it was great, it was a nippy, it, was, it had the, the, the spike at the back, just maybe a little bit all over the place, I don't know. I think Chaos 2 was probably the more controlled robot of the two. And lower to the ground, I'm going to have to give this to Chaos 2. <laughs> So, sorry Cassius 2, one of my favourite robots of all time. I'm going to have to give this to Chaos 2. Of course, both robots are brilliant, really, aren't they? Uh, so there we go. Let me know what you think. I'm interested to know who would win the fantasy fight anyway. You know, Chaos 2 or, or Cassius 2 in your eyes. And then we can see on the back here, that's our line, uh, first round line-up complete. We now have uh, semi-finals to decide, and we'll be, uh, we'll be drawing the results for the semi-finals next time. Sticking with the Cassius team, Rex Garrod, we're looking now, this is a milestone, and it comes from the first series, and we're looking at uh, Recyclops, and in its heat, it performed some milestones of, it, of its own. Okay, we were only in the first, the first war, within the first couple of heats, uh, but Recyclops, at this moment in time, was about to make history. Uh, okay, so we'll start with the biggie, of course. We all know what it did. It flipped a house robot for the very first time. And poor Matilda, well, she bared the brunt of Recyclops' little, uh, like a tongue, wasn't it? <laughs> Came out. Great design. Its first milestone was to be the first robot to flip a house robot com com completely over. It had never been done before, and of course, during the first few series, Matilda then was a target. She she was probably the house robot that was attacked on the most, I think, initially, when she had a chainsaw, because, you know, when she developed a, a certain flywheel, I think Robotiers were generally afraid of her. So, Recyclops, there we go, first milestone, also in the same heat, and it was the, the first robot with Mortis to be involved in the first ever judge's decision. Of course, it did go, so it was a good fight. Uh, of course, uh, Recyclops won. It got through to the, to the grand final. And it also set the shortest battle record against Scrapper at just 15 seconds. So some milestones there from the, the veteran robots. Recyclops, for me, was my favorite robot of series one. Even though, of course, we know that Roadblock went on to win the first series. But for me, uh, in terms of design and, and the team, of course, Recyclops was my favourite favorite machine. And we all know that they uh, later went on to build Cassius, Cassius 2, and even Cassius 3, who was never shown on TV. Correct me if I'm wrong, I, I think they might have played at a few events 
behind closed doors, not on telly. Just comment if that was true, I'm not actually sure. So there we go, there's our milestone for today. Recyclops setting three milestones in its first encounter, its first appearance in the first war. Drip feeding in more best battles, ready for a top 10 very, very soon, is another best battle from the series. This is from the original run, so series one to seven. At some point, I'll probably do from eight to 10, but because these were two separate uh, eras, really, because you can never really compare them in terms of battles, eight to 10, some extremely brilliant fights. So we're concentrating on series one to seven, and will this come as number one at some point? You never know, today's fight is from Series 7 and it's Tsunami versus Exterminator. For me, I leapt from my chair because at this point in Series 7, not many of the seeded machines were getting through. And it was great that, you know, New Blood was, was coming through and, and getting through to the semi-finals. But I, I was kind of a bit old school, I enjoyed seeing the old veterans get through and the seeded machines come through. So, um, for me, it was one of my favourite fights of Series 7. It was the lead up really for Tsunami going out the arena. They entered the arena, they had a fantastic fight. Tsunami got a couple of good flips in, but then at just the right angle, flipped Exterminator. Exterminator rolled towards the arena wall. And we all know from Tsunami's record so far, it was flipping robots clean out of the arena with no problem at all. So it was by the fence, the arena fence. Tsunami could have just come in and flipped straight away. Of course, I was thinking at that point, Oh, this is never saw another flipper going through, blah, blah, blah. Don't get me wrong, I love Tsunami, but it, at this point we had quite a lot of flippers. Of course, once they flipped, I think it was something to do with the gyroscopic speed that stopped Exterminator from being exterminated, really. And then, just one blow, one hit from the disc, Tsunami were flipped, the gas canister went, and it reverted just like that. And because it was so unpredictable, so gripping, for me, this goes down as a, as, as, a, as a best battle. What do you think in the comments? Was this one of your favourite fights from Series 7? Was this one of your favourite fights we, you saw from Exterminator? Because they had some memorable moments, didn't they, in Series 7? Let me know in the comments below as we go over to Merchandise Memories. We're looking at the next edition of the Robot Wars magazine. This was issue 7 back in November 2000. And couple of things here that I, <laughs> that I have noticed. I actually have just noticed that this for the first time. Um, there is a Chaos Battles Cassius fantasy fight. It's like written in the stars, wasn't it? The, the Cassius team in this, this, heat, in this episode. Um, and it was also the first proper photo that, uh, from Matilda. Because if you noticed, uh, edition one, there was Sir Killalot, edition two, Sergeant Bash, edition three, Dead Metal, then Shunt. But for some reason, we had to wait a few issues to get a full picture of Matilda. So there she is, in her magnificent glory. Um, and also, what you could get in this edition were the Robot Wars badges. And as you can see here, uh, we've got Refbot, there, Dead Metal, Sir Killalot, Matilda, Sergeant Bash and Shunt. And they are the original badges that you could collect from this edition. And as we work in, it was the first look, the first proper uh, revamp, should we say, of, of the magazine. It's totally changed. Didn't even know this. I forgot it was in this edition. It's the Fantasy Fight versus Cassius and Chaos 2. Now, nah, now the, the only difference is that in our Fantasy Fight it was Cassius 2. In this Fantasy Fight it's the original Cassius. Let's just see who they put as the winner because, of course, uh, Chaos 2 is through to the Heat semi-finals in our Fantasy Fight. Ah, there we go. And similar to us, Chaos 2 uh, won this particular fight. And we also saw some first shots of the Robot Wars toys that were about to launch uh, that Christmas. And in fact, we did. We got the House Robot toys that Christmas, December 2000. And we were over the moon. Now, going back to Series 1, there, there is a bit of a theme going here. Unplanned, I promise. Um, of course, it was the first appearance of Jeremy Clarkson in the First War along with Roadblock's first heat, of course the first heat winners, and is also on, on our desk here. And then they started a bit of an art class. You could actually draw a robot. <laughs> it was Hypnodisc for this time. 
So there we go, and a, and a, a shot of the infamous fight Puska against uh, Razor from Heat B. Now, just before we uh, do move on to your questions, it's just quickly time to go back to bot bits. On the screen earlier, we showed you a zoomed in shot of a house robot, and <laughs> I promise you, this isn't planned at all. There was a clue, really, in the previous review of, um, of the magazine here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's Matilda. Matilda making an appearance once again. So, well done to any of you who got those correct. And of course, you know, if you want a bit of a theme going, Matilda was the subject to Rex Garrard's Recyclops being flipped um, in Series 1. So there we go. There we go. It's all linking in, isn't it? Uh, first question here we have from that builder boy. Thank you for your question. And out of all 10 series, which champion is the worst? Good question, good question. I have touched on this very briefly in a previous episode. It was the grand final of series six. Uh, for me, the worst champion is Tornado because they didn't really deserve it, I don't think, personally. Now I did say that it was, um, it, it was a fair fight. Don't get me wrong, it was a fair fight, but we all know why they put this frame on the outside. It was to, to make sure Razor couldn't get through to the body. Um, so if they hadn't the frame on, Razor would have easily won the fight. So I don't think that's why I've, I've put out of all 10 champions, Tornado as the worst. So thank you, that bot builder boy. Next we have, uh, let's see, N uh, Noob. Thank you, Noob, for your question, which is, do you think Razor would have gone further and done better if it never pissed itself in Series 8? There we go. So just very briefly touched on Razor there. Um, for me, yes, its appearance in Series 8 was abysmal, which was a shame. It was a shame, but I suppose it was the passing of the old guard to the new guard, wasn't it? But from all of its appearances in, it could have easily won every single series. Series 2, it broke down. It would have, I think it would have won the war. Series 3, it broke down. It would have easily got through to the grand final. Series 4, it broke down. Series 5, of course, it won. And series 6, it should have won. So yes, uh, for me, uh, Razor, in every appearance it was in, would have easily got through to the grand final. It's as simple as that. It is, without doubt, one of the most consistent, best quality machines that ever graced the arena. So thank you, Noob, for your question. Do we have time? We do, for another one. Uh, try movies, thank you, which is your question, which is what was the most controversial fight in our series? Top of my head, there are a couple, uh, series 7, semi-final, uh, it was Challenger, Revolutionist and Witch Doctor, that was quite controversial, and also the Disco Inferno and Minotaur fight from series 8, what was your? most controversial. What do you think was the most controversial fight uh, from your point of view in our series? I'd love to hear your uh, thoughts on that. So thanks Try Movies. I'm going to get one and the last one in Stealth B. Which is an interesting one. This is from the website. Uh, where do you film Reactivated? Well, of course I, I can't give the exact location away. It is somewhere in the northwest of England. That's all I'm going to <laughs> all I'm going to say. Lancashire. Um, but we do film. Of course this is this is a, a wonderful backdrop. You won't believe it. It's not a green screen. It's not green screen at all. Um, so we do, just seeing it on there, very small studio, very small studio. There's a picture there. Um, so yes, we, we do film it in a smallish room in a location undisclosed in the northwest of England. Cease. Oh, thank goodness for that. The cease is called. Well, thank you once again for all your questions. Again, I always do it. I've got loads to get through. Thank you. Please keep submitting them. Um, thank you for, for liking, for disliking, well you can't do that anymore, but if you didn't like the episode, what do you want to see in, in, the, in another episode of Robot Reactivator? Do let me know in the comments below. We'll see you very soon. Thank you.